Look at everybody, we finally got 20.12 and .13 updates last night. Two updates in less than 24 hours, how awesome is that? What other car company is going to do that? So we're just going to have a quick run through before going for a drive and see how the car has improved. So, Dr. Sally, what have we got? Stop light beta, stop light sign control. I'm not going to read through all of that because I'm sure you guys have a fair idea what's going to happen anyway. But yeah, we've got that. GPS updates. That will be handy. And fallout shelter. Cool. Theatre mode improvements. That's always cool. You can adjust the theatre mode for your steering wheel now rather than the um, having a touch of volume on the bottom of the screen, which has always been a little bit annoying. Tracks improvements. That means um, Nash can start rapping a bit more, make better soundtracks than the music he already does. So, let's have a go for a drive. Okay, so when you see the blue light up there, the blue circle, autopilot is on. So let's go for a drive and see how well this autopilot under 2020.20.13 goes. Okay, everybody, we made a rookie error. We forgot to turn the traffic light beater on. So we're flying up to the roundabout wondering why nothing is happening and is still approaching it at full speed. So let's um, turn that on. Here we go. Yes, we understand it's beta, we're always remaining in control, we're not that stupid, we actually still drive the car, even though autopilot does the work. So now we finally actually managed to turn on um, the, what do they call it, the tra traffic light stopping feature thing. Traffic light control. Traffic light control awareness, whatever you'd like to call it, it's on. So I think traffic lights, put your hands on the wheel. Cool, it works. Stopped at the red light. That's awesome. We're worried it wasn't going to work there because there's not much of a chance for autopilot to be engaged, but yeah, it worked. Okay, so I'm sure there's going to be plenty of YouTube videos coming up about um, your autopilot under 20.13, but before we try it out with a few very unusual situations to see how it goes. Approaching a stop sign here, we'll see if it actually act. Uh, there we go. Oh, what the turn for? I hate it does that. Okay, turn around, it doesn't look fucking useless now. Okay, here we are, autopilot now, crossing the bridge at Western Sydney and approaching a very small roundabout. So they're stopping for traffic control in 25 metres. And the car is slowing down. Yes. And stopped. We're probably a car length away, but it's actually quite a small roundabout on the middle of um, this bridge. I don't know why I'm moving the camera around, it's a 360. I can do that in editing. So yeah, impressed. I stopped with a little roundabout in the university campus, so that's quite good. Now I've hit the main road and see how it goes. Okay. Unusual situation, there's roadworks over the top of this crest with a temporary set of traffic lights. For the roadworks, obviously, not in the database, so we'll see if it recognises the stop sign or the traffic lights and stops for the traffic lights. Well, not actually stops, but you know what I mean. Does its thing. There's a traffic warning sign, red light. There's a car there. Yes, stopping for control, but there's a car there. Oh, so it did see it. That's cool. That is cool. Now, I don't know if it stopped because the car in front is stopped no, or... It recognised it. It's actually recognised the set of lights, which is right there. See, temporary set of lights on a trailer. Only been there about three or four days. This is so really it's impressive. Not just GPS, then. So, obviously, it's not based on GPS data for everybody out there. It's actually physically seeing the stoplights and reacting to the stoplights. Have you got moonwalking cyclists? No, we don't. That is cool. A final urban roundabout test before we hit the main roads. Yes, it's 60 this part. Yes. 200 metres, it's working fine. Stop sign, roundabout. Slowing down by itself, yep. Taking over control, to go around the roundabout. Easy. See? Now the light's red, it's bright going red. on and off, on dark and off. Red, bright red, dark red, bright red. Dark red, bright red. Obviously the light up there isn't changing, it's just red. Interesting. Okay, now it's showing up as full green. Which it is, obviously. Cool. Now we're going to try on the M4 heading westbound on an exit that previously to this update the car would not take. It simply would just, on navigate on a pilot, would just blast straight past the exit, wouldn't even attempt to change lanes or even exit the freeway or slow down. So, let's see how it handles this one after the update to 20.13. This is a motorway exit. I normally misses all the time, which is the turn off if you want to use the Tesla destination charges at um, Penrith. I don't know why it thinks from university all of a sudden. That's kind of weird. Hmm. I thought there was GPS updates. Hmm. 
Maybe, maybe not. There, there we, we are. Now we're back. Stopping for traffic control in 50 metres. Caesars is green because it's okay. straight ahead when it's green. Yeah. Yep. But we're turning. So it actually shows you the colour of the light yep. there as well. But we're turning, so. Yep. These traffic lights, as you can see, are also temporary. They're just sitting in concrete blocks on the road as the um, the road over there isn't quite finished yet. So it's obviously not using a GPS location for the sets of lights. It's actually physically seeing the lights, which is cool. Still can't see speed limits. The car thinks it's 70 zone, even though this is an 80 zone. Car changing lanes well onto the motorway. So what's your money on? The car missing the exit as usual or taking the exit after this new update? Place your bets now. Maybe. Showing three lanes, okay. And we have overhead lights. Apparently ludicrous feed had issues with these lights on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Let's see how we go on the M4. I think because they're not lit, the car might ignore them. Yes, yeah, so it didn't show up, okay. Here we go, the exit that doesn't exist. Ah, it's recognising it now. No indication, no slowing down, and nope, no attempt to take that exit at all. That was very disappointing. So no change there on motorway exits. Well, Bummer. That one's always been a problem for some reason. Yeah, it's I always hated that one. Don't know why it doesn't work. So what did you bet? Did you bet it was going to make it or not? If you did, did you lose the money? You lose five internet points. Five internet points lost if you thought it was going to take it. Damn it, I lost five internet points. Okay, exiting here. Navigate not a pilot. Will it do it? Yes. Navigate not a pilot. Why you do this? <laughs> I've got a van going in the room, back to front. <laughs> Unusual design van. <laughs> hmm. Okay, there's a large multi lane roundabout approaching, stopping for traffic lights. Yep. yep. Confirm it's green, off it went. I stalked it. You stalked the green lights. Slowing for the roundabout. It's slowing, it's slowing, it's still going, it's still going. Nope. What a pilot still engaged though. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what a pilot still drove the car through the roundabout onto this road, but the part of the software telling us there's a roundabout ahead didn't like that and also had a bit of a complaint with the red screen and beep of doom. No, here, just disengaged altogether. Okay. Set of lights, at least the new visualization. Oh, orange! Oh, look at that, it's gone orange. Can't slow down, it changed to red. That's cool. Didn't expect that. And car is stopping on the line. That's quite well. Cool. <laughs> it's just funny how the kids go, oh, it's a fucking Tesla! <laughs> Just don't bust a bunch of kids and you hear someone yell outside the street, it's a fucking Tesla! That's cool. The kids know what this is, so the future could be good. So that's it so far. Autopilot 2020.20.13 on a few difficult roundabouts and some known trouble spots on the M4. Still room for improvement, but quite impressed with the roundabouts and the traffic light recognition, that's cool. The fact that it spotted the roadwork lights that were very temporary is interesting, meaning it's not using any GPS data to figure out where the things are. So that's it, our first look at 2020.20.13 Autopilot. Thank you for watching, take care, and don't forget to use your, I'm not going to bother saying it, you know the deal. Take care, drive safe, bye.